this is the second part of the internal structure of the earth we will start about the discontinuity we were discussing about the discontinuity so as we know the discontinuity is the boundary between the two formation or two different formation this is called discontinuity or a transition zone so as we discuss there are five type of discontinuity and each discontinuity is different with the other the first is conrad discontinuity the conrad discontinuity is a boundary which separate the upper crust to the lower crust or simply we can say it is a discontinuity which separate sial and saima the sial upper layer of the crust and the saima which is lower layer of the crust it is called conrod discontinuity then second is mohorovic's discontinuity the mohorovic's discontinuity is a boundary or a transition zone which separates the lower crust and upper mantle or simply it is a boundary which separate the crust or mantle it is called mohorovic's discontinuity and the third is repetitive discontinuity repetitive discontinuity is divide or separate the upper mantle and lower mantle into two different mantles so repetitive discontinuity in a simple way we can say it is a boundary which divide the upper mantle and lower mantle it is called repetitive discontinuity or repetitive transition zone and the third is cuttenberg discontinuity it is a boundary which separate lower mantle and outer core or we can simply say that it is a boundary or a layer which separate mantle to the core it is called gutenberg discontinuity and the last and final discontinuity it is lehman discontinuity it is a discontinuity which separate outer core and inner core or simple in its divide the core into two parts that is outer core and inner core this is called lehman discontinuity these all discontinuity is very important for the formation of the earth and the other material and to chemical composition of the transition zone so this is our discontinuity now next is if we talking about the temperature of the earth crust or mantle on the core so it is seen that every 100 meter deep mean the temperature increase in 2 to 3 degree celsius if we go 100 meter deep in every 100 meter deep in the temperature automatically increases 2 to 3 degree celsius and if we talking about the tectonically active area which is present up lower crust and upper mantle where the temperature is about 1000 degree celsius at a depth of 43 km it is the area where the earthquake and volcanoes originated hence it is called tectonically active area so most of the oceanic crust is active area for the formation of the sea floor or the formation of the volcanoes and iceland arch and the depth is about 43 km and the temperature is about 1000 degree celsius this is all about the lower crust and upper mantle now the summary so we were discussed we have discussed about the earth interior that is the with the help of seismic investigation the earth divided into three major parts the crust mantle and core then we have discussed the crust crust is the outermost layer of the earth it is a thinner layer or thinnest layer of the earth crust and it is divided into two layer that is first is sial and the second is saima and the boundary which is separate the sial and saima is called conrad discontinuity then the mantle 
Lentil is a third, uh, sorry, middle layer uh, of the earth crust, which is again divided into two layers, outer layer and uh, upper layer, upper mantle and lower mantle. And upper mantle contains the asthenosphere, which is also called as magma chamber because magma is originated in it and generated. So hence it is called asthenosphere or magma chamber. Now, third is the core. Core is the innermost layer of the earth crust. It is again divided into two parts that is outer core and inner core. The outer core is molten state and the inner core in solid state. The outer core has no magnetic field whereas inner core has magnetic field. In case in inner core it is responsible for the magnetic field of the earth crust. Now the discontinuity. Discontinuity we have five discontinuity, Conrad discontinuity, Mohorovic's discontinuity, Repeated discontinuity, Gutenberg discontinuity and Lehman discontinuity. So Conrad discontinuity as we say, uh, as I said, it is the boundary between Sial and Saima and Moravis's discontinuity, it is a boundary between crust and mantle. Repeated discontinuity, it is a boundary between upper mantle and lower mantle whereas Gutenberg discontinuity, it is a boundary between core and mantle and the Lehman discontinuity, it is a boundary between outer core and inner core. So, this is all about the internal structure of the earth crust. If you have any queries about these, you can ask or you can uh, question in the comment section. So, I will take this question in the next video. So, next lecture will be on Thursday, uh, sorry, will be on Saturday. So, thank you.